That's a good word, YouTube. -y. Yeah, I've been uh, doing some moving stuff around. I had to clean for a couple of days. House was filthy. <laughs> Lots of uh, blankets for the girls. Filthy. Oh, dog. You see mine down there? She stares at me like you would not believe. Just nonstop. It's it's uncomfortable and cute at the same time. I know she just does it because she loves her papa, but boy, when somebody stares at me, I'm just disrespectful right? from the street. But anyway, so lots of laundry, lots of time with the dogs, a lot of really fucked up weather too, man. It was real hot and then it was pouring rain, then it was real hot and it was pouring rain. So it's been real muggy. And uh, I ran across, not like it fucking matters anymore, I really don't give a fuck, but my situation next door, my, uh, <sighs> I don't know what this fucking camera's gonna pick up, but there's their lot, and when you look at the line this is my property here, but that line right there, see how close the property line is to the trailer? Well, somebody knocked the stakes down and moved them 10, 12 feet onto my property, tried to shift the property boundaries and shrink my property and grow this property. So uh -uh, I went out there and moved them back to where they're supposed to be close enough. But I have a feeling I'm going to be putting a fence up. And when I do, I will get a... Um, a professional surveyor to come out and stake those four points. So I got legal, legal, legal docs showing exactly, boom, 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 my property lines. There won't be no fucking, I'm not giving any land away to anybody unless you're a misfit and you're coming up here to save my dogs, then all of this is yours when I die, right? I've said it from the very beginning, it's never changed and it's not going to, right? It's just me and these two dogs, as of right now, no relationship with my brother, no relationship with my kid. I got Dave Dog and a handful of other people that I got mad love for, and that's it, man, on this whole fucking planet. So, like I tell everybody, what I'm doing here is to the fucking grave. And then when I croak, It'll be on paper that whoever's here doing what I was doing just will belong to them now. It'll be on them to keep it going. So if that ain't motivation enough for somebody to put their heart and soul into what I'm doing, then I'm not for you. Bye-bye. Right? This channel is about quality, not quantity. These numbers, my subscriptions, don't grow for a shit, you know, I made, coincidentally, I had made a, a video a little while back telling Mr. Wes Watson to go pound fucking salt because he's all about him, right? He says he does it to give it away. Homie, don't give shit away. Not even a thank you. So I, I <laughs> what did I say? I was done being his fucking cheerleader a while back. And now the word comes out. He's been putting hands on his old lady and shit. So whether that's true or not, I don't know. But that's rumor has it. But I kicked him to the curb before I heard that bullshit. <laughs> that's just a fucking side note that I just recently discovered. See, the thing is with, with me and my channel, if I blow somebody up, and I blew him up a lot. I talked him up a lot because he helped motivate me. And just the way he spoke is the way I needed to hear it, right? The fact of the matter is, I don't know that fucking man. But because I've talked him up on the good side, if I hear some fucked up shit, I got to speak what I got to speak. And his old lady made videos diamond him out about fucking fucking with her and hands on and divorce. And he ain't all he's supposed to be and all this bullshit. So woman scorned. I've known plenty of women to lie to to get what they want in life. I've had it happen to me more than once. Just ask my fucking daughter. <laughs> anyway, 
Yeah, her mother, what a piece of work she was, is whatever. Another one. But, along with doing a lot of chores and shit yesterday, and cleaning, and watching my property lines and whatnot, I, um... I had I had to really stay busy yesterday. Yesterday was a what that one fucking clown say? Boohoo. Too much boohoo on my channel for him and he had to kick rocks. But I came across a couple of photos when I was um cleaning. This one is of the kid sitting on an old friend of mine's Harley Howard. Uh, in Redwood, that's Redwood City, Cali. This would have been, I don't know, 90, 89, some shit, maybe. I can't remember. Whenever Fat Boys came out, this was the second year. So, yeah, look at the kid. No tattoos. I had one tattoo that I got when I was 18. That wasn't no big deal. But this photo here, man. That's me in a dress. That's wifey. That's Sonny. That's my baby brother, Paul. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. So, yesterday was rough. Still rough. That uh, memory lane shit. Like I said before, it's, um, <laughs> to use the PTSD term, it's a flashback, man. It's not. It's not just a memory, right? It's a moment in time. And when I look at this photo, it's alive. Sonny's alive. Paul's alive. Mm -hmm. And then it sinks in. They're not alive, right? It's fucked up. But it's true. Right? So, anyway. I got more chores to do. I'm hoping this fucking weather clears up so I could get out and mow. I really want to do some yard work, but shit's just too wet. <laughs> Thanks for all the love and support. Comments, you know, all the likes, subscribe, share. Me and the girls appreciate it very much. Come on. Yeah. I'm on my dog. Yeah. That was Sonny's baby. Right? That dog was her dog. Oh, and by the way, this was at the Woodside Tavern in Redwood City. It was a pool tournament where you guys dressed up in drag, like in a Coors Light commercial or some shit, Bud Light, I, I don't remember. But that's why we're wearing dresses and wigs. Anyway, it was funny at the time. So, yeah, life, even in paradise, it's not always paradise. Y'all have a good day. Much love and respect for me and the girls. Love the ones that love you back. Do your best with the rest. Don't let the kids hear the scary shit, and we'll talk soon. Peace.